ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் பி ஆர் சுந்தர் வெல்கம் டு ப்ரீ மார்க்கெட் ரிப்போர்ட் ஸ்பான்சர்ட் பை டெல்டா டாட் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் ஏ லீடிங் கிரிப்டோ ட்ரேடிங் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் அப்பாலஜிஸ் தெர் இஸ் சம் டெக்னிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் நோ வீடியோ அண்ட் எஸ்டர்டே ஈவினிங் ஐ செட் யூஎஸ் மார்க்கெட்ஸ் ஆர் ட்ரேடிங் வித் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் ஃபியர் அண்ட் த ஃபியர் வாஸ் ரியலி வெரி ஹை இஃப் யூ சி நைன்டீன் 2007 தௌசண்ட் செவன் டூ தௌசண்ட் எயிட் தெர் வாஸ் அ லீமன் பிரதர் கொலாப்ஸ் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி கரோனா வைரஸ் ஏனோ தோஸ் டூ பீரியட் ஆல்சோ த மார்க்கெட்ஸ் கிராஷ்ட் பட் சம்மர் இட் ஃபான் சம் பாட்டம் தென் ஃப்ரம் தேர் மார்க்கெட்ஸ் ஹேவ் ஷார்ட் அப் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட்லி இன் த ஃபாலோயிங் இயர் பட் வாட் இஸ் ஹப்பனிங் நவ் லாஸ்ட் செப்டம்பர் அண்ட் த யூஎஸ் இன்ஃப்ளேஷன் பீக்ட் and then now almost more than one year the markets are not settling and markets are not moving higher significantly after finding a bottom and if you look at dow a two year return is zero s&p 500 is also the same nasdaq 100 was slightly higher just because of nvidia so anyway that's a very too long term picture but even in the short term uh us markets traded with extreme fear and usually when there is an extreme fear the markets are likely to bottom out so that's what i said yesterday in the evening and also uh, people say something like uh, you know uh, us wicks inversion curve so that also indicated the extreme fear so as expected so yesterday uh, in the pre market us markets fell further then somewhere it bottomed out and it moved higher and nasdaq 100 has moved more than 300 points from intraday low to intraday high but the day before it was just exactly opposite from intraday high to low it fell more than 300 points so things are not really looking very good but from extreme fear now the market is likely to bottom out in us now coming back to our market and our market also i have a sense uh, feeling that you know markets are likely to bottom out somewhere here so no, why so what are the reasons number 1 uh, technicals so usually what happens uh, technicals show short only after market falls to some extent say this time nifty fell from 20200 to 19740 then only the technicals indicated short and after that the market has fallen another 400 points so usually if the trend is a short term trend you know once the technical show short nifty is likely to fall 400 to 500 point but not beyond that however sometimes there may be some major trend say for example uh, technicals showed long on april 5 you know uh, that is again nifty bottomed out at 16800 so from 16800 nifty has already shot up to 17500 700 point was higher then only the technical showed long but from there nifty shot up to 20200 so that was a fantastic rally of 2500 so basically there are major trends and minor trends so major trend can extend up to 2000 2500 point also but minor trends once the technical show long or short nifty is likely to move only 400 to 500 point only so assuming that uh, this is a minor trend not a major trend and nifty uh, fell from 20200 to uh, 19740 then technical showed short then from there nifty fell another 400 point as of yesterday's low so therefore the probability of market falling further from here is very very low so that is number 1 number 2 for the very short term if you look at the yesterday's chart opening level is almost same as closing level so with a, a huge intraday fall 
so that huge intraday fall was bought by the bulls so technically this is called toji pattern so the toji pattern means you know opening level and closing level should be the same but with a very very big uh, week intraday either that intraday can be a fall or intraday can be uh, you know uh, rise so usually uh, if a toji pattern comes with an intraday fall so that is a bottoming out process and the same thing if it is happening at the higher level higher end of the trading range then that is a topping out level so yesterday uh, clearly the technicals are showing that you know the markets are likely to bottom out so what i am trying to tell you is that you know shorting at this level you know the risk reward may not be really very good so when the technicals show short you know you have to take short position when technicals show long you have to take long position now after technical show short you wait for another 400 500 point and then you are taking short position and expecting some good reward you may not get it so therefore for the short term i feel that you know uh, 19200 should be a very very good support but again so this is a uh, i'm talking from the perspective of selling exhaustion and fas are still selling so in fact yesterday's fa selling is the highest one uh, more than 4000 crore so the markets may consolidate between 19200 and 19800 so as long as nifty is trading below 19800 so major trend is downside only but point here is it so most of the downtrend might have already happened so if you are holding a short position can continue to hold but adding a short position here is not advisable so that's what i'm trying to tell you so we need to see uh, how it stocks going to perform so it stocks will definitely come into focus because they are next week you know uh, major it stocks are we are declaring results and then uh, more importantly we have to watch hdfc bank so as per some reports you know in the last quarter fas have uh, sold lot of hdfc bank shares so it seems that you know uh, fas are selling a uh, major chunk of hdfc bank shares so that could be one reason why you know a nifty has uh, underperformed so in the first two week of september nifty shot up 1000 point so fas have taken that as an opportunity to offload their shares in hdfc bank so as usual hdfc bank and reliance industries together have 25% weightage and then in addition to that we need to keep watching icici bank axis bank state bank so these are the three stocks that fell significantly uh, hdfc bank has fallen more than 10% but uh, icici bank has also fallen about 6 7% so maybe another 2 3% fall that will also fall 10% so the banking stocks have been very very choppy it went from 44000 to 46000 then from 46000 came to 44000 again went to 46000 again came and broke 44000 yesterday so the bank nifty you know that is the nature of the uh, index so bank nifty has been highly volatile and making a large moves so one large upside move will make you know things more interesting so we had two major problems one is uh, fai selling and second one is a uh, global queues so it seems that the global queues are uh, turning around at least bottoming out if not uh, moving higher and uh, now we need to see uh, whether fai is uh, reduce their selling today so once those two are over then the markets can resume their rally and crude prices have fallen significantly i think the crude prices have fallen uh, nearly 10% in the last uh, few trading sessions so that is actually good for indian markets particularly auto stocks so uh, today is a weekly expiry the markets tend to be volatile but uh, now 
the risk reward is not in favor of shorting the market at least at this point of time so in fact it is time to uh, cover the shorts if you have any shorts so that is my personal opinion so again i'm not a sebi registered person this is just my personal view hope you enjoyed listening to this audio thank you for listening